this is totally different because I grew up listening to classical music. My brother was a classical musician, so coming here, it's totally. Put me to sleep. I'm actually just curious about today. I've got no idea what. I, I don't know, is it, is, it, is it a conversation or is it, what is it trying to... Just going to the realms beyond most pop culture mainstream music. A sonic object is something which is not necessarily thought of as an instrument, as a musical instrument, but can be treated such. Basically everything, every physical object can vibrate and it can produce sound. You, 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 you hit it or you put a, uh, a current through it or you, you, you scratch it a different way, you make it vibrate and you make sound. That's what sound is, vibrations. So uh, we can in this way integrate a wide range of sounds into a performance. It's good if, they, if it seems random to you, that's, uh, that's a good thing. I mean, you can say that on the left side. It's Originally, Joyce Co, uh, my colleague and uh, musician, I'll move composer, into picture. yeah, um, invited me to be part of a performance at SMU. Um, she had some ideas about um, making some uh, sonic sculpture or uh, composition. Inside the whole island in the middle is basically it's basically fine, up to at least this point here. Here it eats the screen a little. Uh, see. But behind it like this, it will always be a problem with the screen. And, and I mean, as in the the video projector, there will be a a, a shadow that we can't have time. So, so we're gonna adjust these two over here first. You need to have a, a really big difference between the two wires, a bit like the, the, the earlier plate. Come back to me again. Yeah, so the whole plate needs to go further out to the outside of the stage. Okay. So you might as well do that before you okay. fix it. Yeah. Same height and angle. The catwalk number two goes further to the side, right? Yep. Yeah. So, you know, we we'll, we'll, uh, you should bring the other one. And here, I'd like to fill in that both John, John Stewart and myself were inspired by Richard Serra, the American sculptor, and his work with, with steel, with iron, in public spaces, creating really large scale objects that people can interact with or, or they will they will change people's environment well I did think about working with paper but metal is nice because it's weighty and uh, and it is um, uh, but it reflects in a very good way these plates they, they carry the, they carry their own history and for John, the way he constructs his objects is that it goes through different stages, and each stage they are um, picking up marks, dust, bashes, they get bent, etc. So, this is what he would speak about when he speaks about the life of these plates.
I'm doing a video that is for the piece for trombone and pipa. Playing two pieces. So that that's what brought me here originally. Um, one is a work by Joyce Cole, and then the other which is um, a work by Freddie, and I play the trombone. <laughs> No, it's... So you guys are going to do a documentation on the yeah. concert on the 20th? Right. Okay. I'm the right man then. This is my instrument and this is a piece which also requires me to work with the left hand. Oh well, I mean, we're playing a couple of pieces. The, uh, Francesconi, which I'm just about to rehearse now, is called Animus, and it's also called The Brainstorm. So it's very much about an inner struggle. So I don't uh, expect the audience to be mesmerized with the beauty of this piece but um, it might uh, evoke uh, angst, confusion, worry, discomfort even. That's probably an okay part. And then some of the loud notes, the high Cs. Yeah, like, um, yeah, yeah. Cool. So number one is to get those levels set. Number two is to get the levels sent to my computer. My name is Samuel, Samuel Wong, and uh, I'm actually a pipa player. Pardon? Pipa. Sorry? I'm sorry? What? What's that? Pipa. 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 No. Oh, the pipa. No, I don't know what that is. It's a very characteristic instrument. It has a very strong voice and it is um, not easy to play. And because of that, uh, it has a very strong um, type of sound. As I said earlier, it's, it has a very strong character and it's very, as it's very hard to control. Usually people players usually have to have strong characters to be able to control such an instrument or to wield sound from such an instrument. And um, because of that, I was sort of innately um, attracted to its strong, um, I would say, voice. Because uh, the project deals with sculpture, sonic sculpture, um, technology, um, traditional acoustic instruments, video, uh, sound play, play within space, play uh, with, uh, with philosophy, with art, and it's not confined only to the aspect of being traditional. It tries to break barriers, it tries to cross barriers. I'm doing a video that is for the piece for trombone and pipa, mm -hmm. and um, then project, and then we're doing 
for the, the pieces on the metal sheets. We're going to be projecting one image on one video that I did in the middle of the screen and dual projecting onto each of the sheets, each side of the stage, um, a second video that's an accompanying video, very similar color pattern, very similar feel. The ones on the side are more color field and the one in the middle is more kind of has a watery texture. This has been built around the idea of playing with low compression and large pixels and collaging images so that they become extremely abstract. I was really interested when I created these pieces for them to be about to sort of getting to what are the basics of what digital video is about. And digital video, you know, film is about, if you say that film is about film going through a projector, digital video is about compression. So I've been playing with compression and the breaking down of images. And <clears throat> when I was asked to, to work here, I started to pick some of these works and some of these themes and pair them up with this music because I felt that they worked very well with that, this sort of, this sort of basic feeling of understanding the electronics, breaking things down to their basic elements, bringing out sort of a rawness to them that still at the same time was lyrical and hopefully poetic. Influencing the sound. I mean, the sound is which was generated from the video. Right? At first, like the music was very, the rhythm is very constant and go on for very long. Like, same tone, keep going on and on and on and on. But I don't know what is what is the point. You know, what is it trying to? Do? Sound was very soothing. Very dangerous at times. I, I, I don't know. Corrosion, death. No. Normally, it's a you know you see a skull and you think of you know morbid things, morbid things yeah. and but. But this skull was actually kind of uh, disintegrating, right? Yeah, it, it was had like holes and everything, and so it was, I thought of when I was listening, I thought of intestinal digestion and juices and stuff like that. So the question of um, how to get Singapore audience to firstly to 
come and experience this and secondly to maybe to like it and then thirdly to um, actually think that well this is pretty cool I think that I want to do this as well there's only so much that that, that I can do that any one person can do you know, I, I do my best in, um, in, in making this happen I mean, it has to be something that is that actually is done that actually is offered in the first place secondly it's a uh, it, it is a, a long-term, or at least a medium-term pedagogical project to, to um, you know, assist a, a rather wide audience in, in appreciating some of the particular parameters with, with this kind of work. Um, and that's also why I am teaching. You know, I have to start with, with young people and, uh, and uh, point their attention to, to sound point their attention to what is it that, that can make sound and and uh, and also you know teach a system in teaching some skills about how to control these things so in such a way in such a contemporary way it really attracts attention uh, something special and yeah it's not common around so basically more or less people get curious about it i don't really know how to appreciate it i just listen as music or... <laughs> one word <laughs> amazing I, one word, I mean, relaxing. Yeah. Eclectic. And what you just witnessed was metal, plucked, lit, and blown from Per Magnus Lindborg. <laughs> I was gay.